the really nice things about the Concourse Syllabus system is how easy it is to import a syllabus from a previous course into a new course. You don't have to rebuild the syllabus, you can just import it and then adjust as necessary. So I'm going to show you very quickly how to do that. My name is Diana Sage. I teach speech communication at the Collin College Frisco campus, and I thought it would be nice to have just a video showing you step by step how to do this. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your Collin College online environment and click on faculty and then you will go to canvas once that loads and canvas and I actually already have my dashboard pulled up just for ease of use so you'll go to the course that you want to import the syllabus into so you're pulling it into this course so I'm going to choose one from the upcoming spring semester and then here on the left scroll down until you see the concourse syllabus link. Now you can actually adjust the order of these links by going into settings. We're not going to do that right now, but that is a nice option. So uh, later on, I'm going to move my concourse syllabus link more up to the top. But for now, I'm just going to click on concourse syllabus. And it's going to bring up a partially pre-built syllabus. All of this stuff is already populated. It is so handy. It's already got the, the times that it meets and the um, course description. So it, I don't actually have to import a whole lot. Now I'm going to go into syllabus up here on the left and click on the pull down menu. And I'm going to click import. And now it, this is just searching for what you want to import. So leave it blank because you just want it to pull up all your options. So just click search here. Now I'm going to import this syllabus from my previous one in fall 2019. So I'm just going to click this top one, click import. And I want to import the contact information, the supplies, the course policies, the method of evaluation, and even the course calendar because I have it listed by class meetings and not by dates. So it will not require too much tweaking at all. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import here. Yes, I want to continue. And there it is. And it's got my contact information. Uh, once I have figured out what my office hours are, I will adjust that. It's got my supplies listed, my attendance policy. None of this has changed since the previous semester, so I don't have to adjust any of that. Same with the method of evaluation, the grade breakdown, the course calendar. I will adjust this a little bit because it, it it's coming in from a, a winter master course and so I will um, I'll actually be adjusting this quite a bit but everything else is exactly the way I want it to be so I think we're good actually look at that that didn't take me any time at all now when it comes time to edit this you can click edit and I don't have to edit the course meeting times or the course resources or the syllabus, but I did want to adjust my um, calendar. So for the course calendar, so here I'm just going to put week one instead of hours one through four. Oh, you have to click edit. So I'm not going to make you watch me do this, but this is how you edit it. In fact, let me show you that just one more time. You'll click this. You'll scroll down to what you'll go up to the top. Click edit and then <clears throat> find the areas you want to edit. And click on the little yellow pencil icon and that will allow you to edit. And then once you have made your changes, then you would hit save to save your changes. And then just to make sure everything looks right and you don't have any duplicate information, click view. And that's going to put it in the preview where it, it looks the way it will look to students. So there you go. That's how you import your syllabus from one course to another and then how you adjust it once you've got it. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, you can always ask the ELC, the Colin E-Learning Center.